Hi, my name is Patricia and I'm from Portugal and I'm 23 years old and I just moved to Iceland to follow my biggest dream. Since I was 12, I wanted to become a volcanologist in Iceland specifically. I've been obsessed with the country ever since I started studying geology in school and ever since I found this country. I have done countless papers and projects on school about Iceland and I've always wanted to come here. I have never visited Iceland before, but I just finished a four year long degree in geology in the University of Lisbon. And since my first semester of college, all I wanted was to be accepted to a master's in geology here in Iceland. And I finally was. I've had a YouTube channel for the past few years. In the beginning, I was doing some booktube videos, but then when I went to college, I started doing some little vlogs about my daily college life. I only did these videos very casually. I posted them every once in a while, and I never really showed these videos to anyone. But now, because I'm moving away from my friends and family, I really want to share, especially with them, what's my life going to look like in Iceland and what I'm up to. And also, I loved making YouTube videos for the past few years. It has been such a creative outlet for me that I want to continue on doing them and I want to get better at it. So I'm starting this channel doing this little moving series documenting my move to Iceland and how that process has been like. This first video is about my moving day to Iceland. It's a bit chaotic because I was in a pile of stress the entire day. So I have a bunch of random clips that I've put together. So I'm going to do a lot of voiceovers and try to explain and make everything clear. So I hope that you can stick around to follow this journey and let's get started with the video finally. Well, hello everyone. It's currently 3 a.m. and I'm about to leave for the airport. Like, my voice is already failing me, but... <sighs> I'm kind of like super tired. Yeah, I'm kind of a nervous mess. But I have to leave. This was such an emotional day for me. In this moment, I was just saying goodbye to my bedroom for the last time. I went to the airport just with my family because I couldn't really handle more goodbyes. We are past the gates and like you can see this is very messy basically i've been crying the entire time and i'm super sweaty like my bag is so heavy that i basically lost like circulation in my arms like i couldn't physically feel my arms they were very tingly but now we are going to board i hope that you can hear me We ended up not doing a direct flight to Iceland. We did a layover in Finland. So we had to take the 6 a.m. flight. It was really bad because we were really, really tired. But it was also nice because we got to see this amazing sunrise. We spent the entire flight playing this stupid game. We are in Finland now and we are just waiting for our plane to Iceland. It's currently like 1.48 and our plane is supposed to leave uh, at 4. 15.40. Yeah. 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 We are just going to look for some food because the coffee shops we just saw, like a slice of pizza, it's 15 euros and no one can pay for that. So we are going to see if we can find some like fast food or something. Hmm? Yes. How was your first flight? Yeah. Uh, it's chill. Yeah. 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 Finland is really beautiful, and it's really different from like what we are used to see in Portugal. Yeah, we are excited, but also kind of tired. We found food! <laughs> but 
but finally it was time to actually get to Iceland. This flight was super nice, but we were so tired and nervous. I was basically screaming the entire time when I got to see the land of Iceland because just the view from the airplane was amazing. And finally, it felt so surreal to arrive to Iceland. We are in Iceland, we are just waiting for our bags and now we are going to try to get to Reykjavik. It's a little bit coldish but I have my grandma's yeah. jacket, so I'm fine. It's 12 degrees. But here it's pretty hot and I'm feeling really disgusting after 12 hours of traveling. My butt hurts a lot. I'm really uncomfy. Yeah. We had five suitcases with us and one of them broke during the flight so we had no idea how we are going to get him to the guest house that we were staying. We took this little bus from the airport to Reykjavik and the view was amazing. Like I got to see Reykjavik for the first time and it was fantastic. I was so excited. I just checked in in my hotel for the night because the pink suitcase was completely destroyed and no one can carry it so basically I had to leave my boyfriend in the bus stop alone because I couldn't carry the bags with him yeah this is weird vlogging on the street but yeah it's not as cold as I was expecting it but I will talk to you later when I'm actually in my hotel and not in a pile of stress we are going out for a bit to see if we can get dinner but basically like the hotel room hotel this is a guest house this is not an hotel it's something <laughs> Like the walls are pretty thin and the bathroom is shared, I already knew that. But after arriving like super tired, not having a bathroom for myself and being able to take a shower, it isn't the most fun thing. But yeah, I'm going to go out. And yeah, basically I was getting super emotional and I was starting to cry. So we just had to leave the guest house to get to know the city and I'm glad we did because we fell in love immediately. Like, the buildings are so cute, the city feels alive, like it's incredibly colorful, the houses are amazing, the streets were so dynamic and the smells of food were fantastic. We ended up going out for the first night to this restaurant that actually wasn't that expensive. Good morning. So we are going out for breakfast at this guest house that we are seeing. I desperately need a shower, but my hair dryer is in the pink suitcase that's completely broken. And I think if I try to open it, it probably won't close <laughs> so we have to wait to take a shower when we get to our house <sighs> so <laughs> before that we need to try to get all of this to the student housing I think we are going to get a cab because it's, it's basically impossible to carry all of this <laughs> like we tried yesterday but yeah i'm feeling disgusting and tired but i'm really excited to see the house and after that we 
have to go to Ikea because we don't own anything okay <laughs> and also try to go to the grocery store today because we also don't have any food so yeah today is a busy day and it's already late it's eight and a half and yeah we need to hurry up we have finally arrived uh, it was amazing obviously one of the suitcases was left behind we still have to go get it I don't know how it works in this country Oh, it's like Wait a second, obviously this moving journey didn't start the moment that I arrived to the country. There was a whole lot of moving before I actually got here. So before we see the house, I still have to show you what it actually took to get here. So if you want to see that, please stick around for the next video that is coming out in the next few days. And after that, we are going back to this point that you just saw. So. If you want to follow along for this journey, I hope that you can subscribe. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!